All right, welcome back in. So we are here in Troll Bridge. This is the Braylon Bridge build that I did with the contest. And this is the best version of the crane that I've built. And I have these mechanisms. You've got a beehive smoker right there and you got a table saw right there that give you an impression that those are the mechanisms that you use to operate this crane back when they were digging out this mine to build Braylon Bridge. And today I'm going to show you how you do that, as well as a few other things that you can clip into the wall to give you more options when you're building your base to do cool things. So we're going to go over to the test facility, and uh, we're going to show you how that works. Now, you are going to need two wall blocks thick, or the back side of the one wall block thick needs to be nothing you care about so like this one's too thick right here or if it was one thick it has this big like mound of dirt and rock behind it it wouldn't matter because I wouldn't see any of that so I got a bunch of items here that we are going to play with to give different effects the first is just the seed bed right seed bed gives you uh, ways to grow seeds so you can grow different plants and we are going to do something fun with that so I'm going to come in here, I am on the top option, so the one meter, and I'm using number four. Now, I'm going to come right here to this edge, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to go there. So I'm going to grab one of these. Now, I'll show you something here in a minute about this. So I want you to look here above my head, you're going to see these flowers above it, you know, because it represents seedlings. And I'm going to go until it just disappears right like that so now what I have if you notice if you look down here you've got a slant on the inside just above that shelf and if you look I'll put this out in the way here this shelf on the bottom is different on both sides so if I look at it from this side I've got a double triple stacked maybe of um, planters on the left and then larger pots on the right there's three of them I can see there I might be like four stacked so you have two different sides so I would suggest flipping sides to different ways as you place these in because not only does this give you an interesting look uh, maybe you've got some uh, extra shelving down there but also this is a neat little trick so I'm gonna come down here to the two meter roof it doesn't matter which one you use. You gotta turn X off because it won't snap correctly if you leave X on. I right, like that. So that gets right up to the wall and you notice it goes down at the same slanted angle. Now if you've ever had an attic space in any of the places you live that is livable you have usually, when the wall gets down to the point where you can't walk under it, you usually have a knee wall or some kind of shelving storage for small items and whatnot. That's kind of what this can be. So if you can imagine your roof goes down, well, you kind of have that space is unusable anyway. Well, now you can use it and give it some interesting look in your wall there. I'm going to go ahead and take this piece off because it's going to be in my way while we're doing the rest. So now what can we do with some of these others? First I'm going to show you this uh, forge. I'm going to show you something you can do with the forge that I think is kind of interesting. So I'm actually going to bring this out and I'm going to go back up to the main tool here and I'm going to go with this number two just like this. And I'm going to go right there just chunk that piece out just like that and then I have this set up so what if we took this and we wanted to have just an anvil just the anvil nothing else so if you look uh, over my left shoulder you see that white circle that is the part so if I go here and you see how it turns into an X when you are looking at something you want to chunk out a piece of wall because you want to place furniture into the wall the only part you need to remove from the wall is where that circle is and then you can get something into the wall like I can't here but I can there 
or I can over there. You actually only need to take out one, but it needs to be too deep for this to work. So, but in, in using the, the two block works actually really well. So I'm going to go in until I can't see any more of the actual forge itself, the, the stone from the forge. I just want that anvil sticking out. So I'm going to come in about there. And then I'm going to go back to my one. I'm going to hit Y, get rid of that. Then when I escape, I now have an anvil sticking out. So it gives you a different look than just having this. And the best part is, it's still usable. So you can still use the device just like this. You can still use this seed bed even when you implant it into the wall to give you something different for a look. I actually, let's say I probably got enough room if I do this. Let's pick these up. No, I want to do it this way. Pick up. Thank you. All right. So the way I do the crane, now I don't have it on this crane over here because the I don't have a large enough space to inset the the sawhorse, the table saw. But I did put the um, beehive smoker in there to give you some kind of a lever to operate it. And this one also has the two kind of arch, if you want to call that an arch there. So if I'm putting that into the wall, I can't just place the beehive smoker in the wall. It won't work. So it comes up and it says not in a free space. And it would have parts sticking out anyway, so it doesn't really work for me. The way you have to do it is this. Come over to this number one, and it doesn't matter what piece you use because you're going to be taking it out anyway. So we're going to do one piece there, and then one above it, I'm going to chunk it out. So I have something to set it on because the beehive smoker sets on the ground. It doesn't set against a wall. So I need something for it to sit on, and then I need to come into the wall enough that just the, the um, circular part of the smoker disappears, or disappears enough that I'm happy with it. Let's go... Let's go right there, and we're going to hit 1, we're going to hit Y, Y, get rid of both of those pieces. That did not go in as far as I would like. So we're going to do this again, pick this up, and we're going to try this one more time here. So this time we're going to go in further, let's see, how about, how about right yeah, that might work. So now go back to R1, hit Y twice, and there you go. That is perfect. So you see it looks like there's a plate where it's attached to the wall. You got the two little pieces of metal sticking out. That's beautiful. That works perfect. So now the table saw. Once again, as I said, you only need to pull out the part where you're going to have this white circle sticking in. And the way I want it, because I want these two pieces, this this pulley system right there, to be fairly close to that. So I think right there should be just fine. So now let me get out my table saw. We're going to bring this out and we're going to set it so that we can see the, the uh, pulley system. Now on this one it's actually much easier to see because you see the wood that's at the top section. You just go in until you're satisfied with it. You can take all of it in or you can leave just a hair. Let's go about right there. Let's see how that looks. Back to one. Hit Y again. Hit Escape. And I like it. I think that works very well. So that gives you your mechanism right there. The table saw is still usable. The beehive smoker still counts as the item that you would place in there. And it looks great. Now there's something else you can do. And you would do it in a bathroom, I think. I think that's how you would want to do it. So we're going to take out one more piece right there, and then we're going to do this table saw the other direction so that the handle sticks out, and I'm hoping someone catches it before for the final reveal so you can actually get what I'm doing with this, because I think it's kind of interesting. Toilet paper holder, right? Doesn't that kind of look like a toilet paper holder? So put that in your bathroom. And you have a toilet paper holder. I, th I think it's perfect. I, I that totally figured that out by 
by mistake today when I was flipping around these things and figuring out how I can put them in the wall. And I'm like, eh, toilet paper holder. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.